Yeah. Llama Juice, uh, uh, pretty cool guy. Uh, former DT dude. Three, two, one, okay. Go. So going into the match, uh, I think Dakpo, part of the reason why he's going Marth is also because uh, Dakpo noticed I played Marth against Junebug and uh, against Luck and uh, wants to try it out himself. Because Dakpo's trying to get better at Marth and Falco for one, melee, and two, because everybody says Dakpo's uh, Marth would be really good. So he's, he's trying to figure it out. Okay. Cool. <laughs> what about Dakpo? You feel like. Oh, fly! What do you feel about Dakpo and Marth? That mesh together so well. Why do you think uh, that they're Dakpo a good has the the brawl pivot shenanigans going on, and he also has uh, he has brawl pivots going on, and uh, Dak Dakpo like his game watch is unorthodox in the fact that uh, it doesn't spam moves nearly as much as other game watches. He plays a really grounded game, All, like almost similar to Marth. So people for the longest time have been like, you should try playing Marth. You know, it got similar down tilt centric neutral game. You know, dash dance stuff into grab. You know. So like people were really confused as to why he wanted to play Falco in melee instead of Marth. So uh, he's, he's finally trying it out. Also, I will kill this guy. Damn it. Okay. Mm. Uh, I think this matchup's probably even. Uh, Marth is considerably good with the banana. Uh, I personally think that if you get the banana, you should just throw it off the stage and fight Diddy Kong without it. Uh, if you know your item gameplay is better than the Diddy Kongs, you can fight him with it, but more often than not, it's just safe to throw it off the stage and then fight him one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, Luck in particular has insane item game, so I find it a lot easier to just throw the banana away and fight him without it. Oh, sniped out. Yeah, sniped. Kind of a rough spot. Uh, one thing Marthos have going for him in this matchup is uh, if you do decide to use banana, you can convert banana into uh, like either a tipper forward air or like grab, and up throw will lead to really juicy combos. Like if uh, if you're playing pretty tight, uh, you can get up throw and then like lead it into death sometimes. Up throw, up tilt, stuff like that. Uh, deck throw with the down smash. <laughs> Power shielding the weird barrel? Yeah, uh, he's done. Yeah. What does Zach would need to do differently? Uh, is, or it seems like Luck has just been consistently getting these punishes. I don't, I don't think Dakpo's comfortable enough with Marth. I think that's the main thing. Like, I, I could talk about, like, specific examples, but really, TLDR, Dakpo still doesn't really know how to maneuver with Marth and, like, microspacing and stuff like that. So, like, he understands what Marth does, but, like, in terms of applying it, he's just kind of figuring it out. Yeah. Like, Dakpo there ran in and down tilted and ran back Pivot Smash. It's just, like, it's, like, it wasn't the situation to do it. It's just stuff like that where he's, like, feeling it out. Uh, Luck, on the other hand. I actually don't think that, uh, oh, wow. That was actually pretty cool. Uh, I don't think that Marth down tilt's actually pretty good in this matchup, uh, because more often than not, uh, if you down tilt one, you could potentially pick up the banana if it's right in front of you instead of actually doing down tilt. Then you also don't get much off of it if you do it. It's only really a gimping tool. Uh, You'd much rather the grab. I would much rather fish for forward air or grab, because uh, if you like properly position yourself for forward air, you can like bait him to do an out of shield option with glide toss stuff, and then like tipper forward at it, him out of it, and like go for grabs and stuff like that. Because the main thing you want isn't down. <laughs> Dak for being fancy with this. Uh, the main thing you want isn't. Uh, you don't want down, so you want up throw. Up throw is like a one hit kill in this match if you're really good. Uh, yeah, Dakpo. Uh, not able to land properly, uh, just kind of unfamiliar to him. Here's the general picture, but there, there's a lot of things where it's like, he's like trying something new in every situation. And, uh, okay, this is potentially an even game. If Dakpo just gets one massively meaty combo, uh, see, there's a situation here where it's like, uh, there, there's many things you could do with the banana. Uh, I personally would just throw it off the stage. But Dakpo held onto it, which one, limits him uh, for not being able to use aerials, and uh, two, the banana could end up back in Diddy Kong's hands, and you having it would mean nothing anymore. Uh, input here? Probably. Anyways, luck is one uh, banana confirmed to getting a kill or like throw into position into edge guard. So he can just catch banana and then. Oh, smash this is starting smash. something. Oh, he's got a double jump. Ah, uh, nope. See, it's situations like those where it's like the forward smash wouldn't have really done much if, even if it did hit him, and more often than not, it's just better to like wait and like pressure below the platform or like wait for him to drop so you can grab him. Mm. Stuff like that where it's like uh, you don't with Marth. It's not like Game Watch where his moves have like little cooldown and like they're ambiguous as to like you know when when they'll be like active or not. Marth is pretty straightforward. So like instead of throwing out forward smash because you, you feel like it'll hit him, like if you're like 60% sure that forward smash will hit, you don't do the forward smash. If you are 110% sure the forward smash will hit, you should do it. 
If there is like any doubt that it won't hit, you basically should never do it, and you should probably just like wait and reset position. Also, Dak was switching to the Dizzy Morph. That was cute, banana drop forwarding. What's up with you, Neptune? Uh, a bunch of people just tweeted me. Oh, Yurian skins. I'm so happy. What happened? Uh, I saw people are tweeting at me all the new Street Fighter stuff. Oh, yeah, because there's new Street Fighter characters. Uh, luck? Uh, but, yep, he got gimped. Uh, got clipped out of his double jump and side B. Uh, Diddy Kong side B, thank fortunately, does not refresh until he hits the ledge. So uh, if you can keep the Diddy, or Diddy Kong away from the ledge, you can attempt to gimp him. It's, it's still rough to deal with the up B because... Uh, the up B hitbox is kind of obnoxious, and uh, whenever he lands from the up B, he's like really low, so he like low profiles moves, and he also has less landing lag than normal because he has 24 frames instead of 30. Uh, Diddy Kong's recovery is like fragile in like a few contexts, but it's also actually pretty good. Ooh. Now see here, what I would do is like you, you like wait on the ledge and like wait for luck to do something, and then you Z drop the banana off the stage and come back on the stage. So that way you can uh, you can wait for luck to whiff something, or like well wait for the Diddy Kong to whiff something, and then get rid of the banana. But like Dakpo just kind of ledge top on stage with the banana and like gave luck another chance to, to regain the banana and also didn't really convert off of it because he can't do like ledge hop fair or like you know like ledge dash off tilt because he has the banana in him. Dakpo actually just rolling. He's literally just rolling. He's Fred Durst. Hey, the, the Nabil talked. Oh God, it's fly. Oh, actually, it's not, it's not a fly, but it's a bug. Mm. There's a different bug this time, and the bug is gone. Raw, I'm glad nice. that you, the, those of you at home are uh, enjoying my one-man commentary. Dude, you're killing it right now. Like, everything that... I'm just, like, listening and just trying to take in all the information. <laughs> Luck! That, that was a pretty goofy kill. Uh, Luck crouch canceled. The uh, Luck was trying to do something after the crouch canceled, but he, like, fell off stage, fast fell, and then did a move and had, like, absolutely no chance of recovering. So... Ooh, that was super smart. Oh, my God. Legend Mitt's ability to cover early... Or no, the banana to cover the early up and he grabbed the ledge in case he went, like, low. So, uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty harsh. Yeah, Mars Recovery is... Uh, it's okay. Uh, it's not, like, horrendously bad, but there's a flow chart behind it, so you can uh, you can typically just, like... It's kind of like Sheik, where you grab ledge, wait for him to come back on stage, and just, you know, edge hog him. Oh, Pivot Forward Smash called out that grab. <laughs> Dead. Yeah, this is why people said that Dak Push by Marth is like, he's probably over committing a little bit too much, but the way he places pivots is really unorthodox, and uh, he's making it work. Wow, uh, that was pretty pretty weird looking down smash. Ooh. All right, now this is that awkward percent where Marth doesn't have like an up throw into an actual kill move. This is called Marth Raiders. Yeah, uh, I mean TLDR Marth Raiders. For those of you who don't know, Marth doesn't have a throw into a kill move, but he also doesn't have like anything in neutral that sets up into kills. So if he like converts, he will likely reset position and attempt an edge guard, but can't really get much else outside of that. Mm. Ooh, the, the pivot forward smash. Ah, oh, rising back uh, here. Yeah, Luck's starting to play a bit safer. Uh, in general, I think uh, Luck's gameplay in the ooh, 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 the dunk. Uh, Luck's gameplay within the past few months has gotten a lot more like textbook and safe and, and like you know smash smart, so to speak. You know, fundamentally solid. Yeah, so solid fundamentals, as a, gr a great man who's sitting next to me once said. Oh, this is. Ooh, if the banana was if the banana was not there, Dapo could have traded stocks with down air. I'm oh, sorry, Dakpo's reaction was priceless. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I think Dakpo might have been going for the downer like I thought, and then like the, he didn't think the banana was there, and he was just like, oh, well, okay. That's actually. Oh, the pivot forward smashes. Oh, ah, he could have went for forward air into down air instead of side B. The side B is kind of it's like almost negative on hit. It's like really mediocre. Ugh. What about the oh, the I think how item drops in this game work is that. Uh, Depending on how much damage you have, you're more likely to drop it, I think. So, in that combo, it was like an RNG chance of Dakpo dropping the banana and then ending Lux down air chain. Oh, Marthritis is starting to kick in. Oh, Dakpo, Dakpo fishing. When Marthritis starts to kick in, sometimes the best solution is to just look for Nair or just down tilt them off stage. Oh, my wow. God. Forward smash in neutral. Uh, this is a pretty forward smash happy Marth. Yeah. But they're not crazy. I mean, he's. I mean, 
if it looks stupid and it works, it's not stupid. I, I mean, hello, Thomas Marguse. Hello, my dad. How are you doing, dad? Are you proud of me? I'm commentating. I am yelling. Oh, God. My name is Justin Marguse. I am yelling. Hi, Typo. Hello. We're chilling. Uh, so, Dakpo staying Marth. Uh, thinking what stages to ban. I'm yelling. I'm, I'm Justin Marguse. All right. Mm. Where do you want to go? Uh, if I were luck, I Dreamland. Easy. Well, I don't think I've ever seen Luck counterpick somebody to Dreamland before. Last time I can remember that was like literally over a year ago in 3.5 against me. Uh, Luck's, <laughs> Luck's typically not the type of player to abuse uh, large stages in, like to his advantage. He, he likes stuff like WarioWare. Like, he likes to be able to like run around on platforms and like corner you and you know and hit you for it. Uh, but if he were actually like going by the matchup standard here, he would go to Dreamland. He's uh, probably Marth can't get kills there. Uh, he commands less of the stage. Uh, it's very frustrating to pin Diddy Kong because... Oh, yep, he's going to dream. Troy sitting behind him probably to... Hey, Troy. Did you tell him to go here? Yeah, yeah, Troy told him to go here. I, Lux, Lux a dingus. He, he might have not gone here. He might have gone to, like, Wario. I love that Squander Squad has, like, what? has this point where they've invested so much into Luck to the point where it's like everyone is now his coach. Yeah, dude, everybody loves when Luck wins. Like, whenever like, yeah, like whenever I'm playing against Luck, even though, like, both of us are Squander Squad, like, Squander Squad always roots for Luck. Like, Luck is the... He's like the hometown hero, in a sense. Because people are, are tired of me doing well. <laughs> I, like, I, like I, I don't know what else to say. You've worn out your welcome. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, people want me to win in Dallas, but, like, if, like... If, if Luck is on the screen and, like, Dallas is in the crowd, they, it doesn't matter who he's playing against. Luck is, is definitely the favorite. Yeah. <laughs> forward smashes. Uh, Luck's starting to get a little bit more accustomed to him. Uh, typically how the forward smash... <laughs> Shut up. The banana's act... That's actually a thing. Like, that's actually a good thing. <laughs> so good. Oh? No. I uh, wasn't able to convert off it. If he was fast enough, he could have ran and uh, forward smashed. Wake up, Uppy. Wake up, wake up, DP. I mean, um, Luck wasn't going to expect it, and he gets to the top platform. He just has to find a way back down to the stage. Yeah, it was actually... Part. Oh, okay. That, that's a bad okay. example, because now he lands back on the ground. If he... Uh, he, he did the early up piece so he couldn't get dunked again. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, Dakpo, I think he's trying to find his answer to Marthritis, and he can't find it. Um, actually, what's... Okay, Dakpo banned Fountain of Dreams and Green Hill Zone. I have absolutely no idea why he didn't ban this stage. Yeah, Luck's kind of running a trail. Oh, never mind. Uh, Mars broke. Mina, <laughs> mite <laughs> That's not actually what he says. I'm just, like, pretending. I don't know what the pronunciation of it is, but I know uh, Roy goes like Bukuwa Makinai. Isn't it yeah. something along the lines of look at me? Okay, so so one of Mars' things is look at me, but I'm like 99% sure that like whenever people think like Mars saying look at me, they think he's saying like, hey guys, look at me. But like, I think what it actually means is like, Marth is commanding an army of soldiers, and he's like, "Attention, look at me." Oh. Yeah. Like, I, I don't think that it's like, like girly, like, "Ah, look at me," like, because that's what people think. At least that's my theory, anyways. I'm, I'm like 99% sure that, that it's like him talking to like soldiers, because you know he's, he's a fire he's, emblem he's, character. He's, he's the prince. He's, he's the hero king, the, the guy. I don't know if you know, but Marth is like. The Fire Emblem character. You know how like Mario is the like star of like Mario games and like you know the Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah, Marth right. is like, like in every Fire Emblem game they'll like reference Marth as like the hero king because he defeated the the dragon and the save the thing. But he only had one game, which was the original Fire no, Emblem he, that was in Japanese, right? He had, uh, I think he has three. I think he has uh, the first game, the third game, and they remade one of those games for the DS. Uh, okay. I forget the names of all of them, but yeah, I think Marth has like three games. And Marth technically makes like DLC appearances in uh, in like Fates and I really? think Awakening. Yeah, uh, if you uh, if you actually play Awakening, uh, you can buy like maps for DLC that like will have the characters from old Fire Emblem games. So like you can oh, play like sick. you can play like Ike's old party like against like Ike and stuff like that. And uh, I think you can you can actually recruit them, but uh, I don't think they're actually that good. I forget. Because I'm playing through Awakening right now, and I haven't gotten to that point where, like, you know, I want to finish the game before I buy a new DLC. Ooh. Luck, what are you going to do? I guess oh, the, the banana almost flipped him. Okay, yeah. Uh, Uppy is kind of hard to deal with, because if he's going to sweet spot, you have to know he's going to sweet spot.
but the spacing to beat Sweet Spot means you're close enough to where up you'll clip you. Uh, anyways, yeah, that was, uh, happened. Yeah, he's dead. The thing, now I'm gonna go play a monkey. Okay. I guess I'll play Falcon? You choose. Okay, I mean, you wanted me to play...